for the past 100 years, historians and the public have been blighted by the fact that the National Archive was destroyed in 1922. Well now, as part of the Decade of Centenaries, a key legacy project from that commemorative programme has been created, the Virtual Record Treasury of Ireland. Luckily we had architectural plans and a few unique photographs and from those small pieces of evidence we were able to build this beautiful virtual model uh, of the building that was destroyed 100 years ago. From my period, the Middle Ages, we knew that there were copy records, duplicates, made by the medieval bureaucracy. They were big on making copies, duplicates and triplicates, and they went back to London with those copies and they've been stored there for centuries. And then the question was, well, if that was true of the Middle Ages, is it true of the rest of Irish history? And so we started to ask that question. And soon we realised that the scale of what was out there what could replace what was destroyed in the fire and what could take us deep into Irish history was really overwhelming and incredibly exciting. In terms of its scale, the idea of trying to reconstruct not just one shelf or one component of a lost archive, but to create a framework in which the entire archive can be reconstructed, that I think is a scale of ambition we haven't seen before. It's only possible through the collaboration of so many core partners and other institutions around the world. And at the core of the core partners are three national level institutions. Our National Archives is the successor to the record office that was destroyed 100 years ago. But they have two closely related institutions, the National Archives UK and the Public Record Office Northern Ireland. These were all public record offices, all very closely connected, all their collections relate to each other. And for the first time in this project, they're partnering formally to reconstruct the lost treasure. Now for the first time you can hold history literally in your hand. Just log into virtualtreasury.ie and you'll be brought straight to our web portal and from there you can immediately enter a search term, whatever you want to search for, try it out and be brought immediately to these digitized materials. From there also you can click and enter the virtual tour of the building, taking you right back in time to 1922 and to the virtual shelves where you can connect with these archives that have been placed back where they were lost 100 years ago.